Welcome to the Open Adex How to Video Series. This video is sponsored by Edgenex and presented by Juan Camilo Montoya, CEO. iframes are a useful way of embedding content that is being served from a different location into a course unit, especially for content that may allow some user interactions that are not going to be graded in the course. These sources may include the course own files, external websites, social networks, and other content providers that allow their content to be embedded. To set up the iframe, you need to select the text component and choose the template called iframe tool. This will get you a sample that has a set of instructions first, and then a working example of the iframe. After you read the instructions, you can use the editor to remove them. And then you can change the properties of the example iframe with your own information, using the HTML view. The main properties that need to be changed for your iframe content are the title, and the source, or SRC. When the content of the iframe will be coming from the course's file and uploads, for example, to display your own PDF file, the source property needs to be fed with the studio URL of the, of the resource. This allows the iframe source to be the, relative to the specific course, which will be needed whenever the course is rerun or exported and imported somewhere else. If the content of the iframe will be coming from an external source, the SRC property should include the fully specified URL, starting with HTTPS. In addition, some other properties allowed by the iframe specification, such as the width, height, frame border, and others can be changed or added to optimize the aspect ratio and behavior of the iframe for the specific content that it will hold. The text you will find between the iframe and slash iframe tags will be displayed in all browsers where the iframe may not be supported. If the provider of the content has its own embedding script, you may as well use it to replace all the code in the HTML editor. This will ensure the content displays as the provider intended. Keep in mind that not all content can be embedded, as some web servers are configured to prevent its content from being iframed from certain locations. In these cases, the iframe will render as a connection error. So it's always a good idea to review your iframes from the LMS view after publishing. Mm -hmm.